you're here. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. This is not a battle of which Renanthera is better, the Monachica versus the Citrina, but I have them both. They are both in bloom. And if you are in front of a cart, shopping cart, and you are wondering whether to buy the Renanthera Monachica or the Renanthera Citrina, if you are not going to get them both at the same time, maybe this video will help clarify and help you make your decision. Personally, I got them both because I just can't make my mind up and I didn't have that level of control. So let me get into the comparison of the Renanthera Monachica and the Renanthera Citrina. Here you see the Renanthera Monachica. She's a small plant and she's native to the Philippines on the island of Luzon, specifically in the provinces of Quezon, Rizal and Zambales. You can also find her on the island of Mindanao, specifically in the province of Zurichao. She is an epiphyte, usually grows on trees, found in open grassy areas at an altitude of maximum 500 meters. By contrast, Renanthera citrina is native to Vietnam, found in the northeastern province of Cao Bang, near Tralin and near Ha Kiang, growing on tops of mountain ridges, found in open, dry, moist, mixed and coniferous forest at altitudes of 650 to 900 meters. Renanthera monachica is a hot growing epiphyte. All year round temperatures <laughs> range from 19 degrees Celsius to 32 degrees, 19 degrees Celsius being the lowest temperature during the winter. And that would be winter in quotation marks because there really is no winter for this orchid. By contrast, the Renanthera citrina is a warm to cool growing epiphyte, occasionally a lithophyte, tolerating temperature ranges from six degrees Celsius to 29 degrees Celsius. Six degrees Celsius being the lowest it gets during the winter months and day temperatures during those months only reach 15 to 18 degrees Celsius. Renanthera monachica appreciates water all year round if the climate where the plant is grown matches its natural habitat. By contrast, Renanthera citrina slows down growth during the winter months and water is reduced to atmosphere influx like dew with abundant access to water during spring all the way throughout the late fall, after which only very sporadic watering. Cooler temperatures, different culture. Renanthera monachica is a slow grower, even though it does not actually have a rest period in its growth habit. It grows all year round, but slowly. So the size of the orchid that you see here, a year's worth of growth is two leaves and a third one starting. That would be one full year worth of growth. And then as the year progresses, the leaf span will increase, but she doesn't grow fast. By contrast, Renanthera citrina slows down during the colder months of the year, and yet it grows much faster. These being the leaves, it has grown within one year. From there, it's grown two, four, six leaves, and now it's working on the next set for the rest of the season. The Renanthera monachica has beautiful, beautiful orange background blooms with speckles of bright red. She is not fragrant, and she is also called the Spanish dancing lady for obvious reasons. Renanthera citrina blooms are also slightly larger, a little bit more delicate in their makeup of the petals and sepals, clearly bright yellow with gorgeous little red dots sporadically on the sepals. In my climate, I have her growing outdoors for the majority of the year, but I bring her indoors for the winter months because my temperatures here outdoors are not conducive to her warm preferences that she prefers all year round. The location of this orchid in my environment and growing culture is outdoors all year round, winter through summer. The last difference I just want to draw your attention to is the setup. 
My Renanthera monachica is an orchid top, only with lava rock, and there's a little bit of ceramis distributed it in there. She needs a lot more humidity, being a hot to warm grower. And in my climate here in southern Spain, I cannot provide that. But that little dish down there from the orchid top provides great humidity and creates a kind of a microclimate around the orchid. As you can see, I've got ferns and mosses growing down there. There's enough humidity to sustain this orchid in my super dry climate. And by contrast, my Renanthera citrina is in self-watering with Leca. And the reason I did that is because she is a faster grower. She has bigger needs, water needs during her time of growing. And in my climate, I can provide that by doing a self-watering setup for her. I have two links in the description below for each of the orchids separately, in case you're interested to go check out those videos. Meanwhile, I don't know if I've made your life easier with the Versus video here. I think both blooms are gorgeous. I'm glad I have them both in my collection. If you have any questions that I did not cover with regards to positives or negatives, if that is of interest to you, I don't have any negatives. It depends on your environment, but maybe this has helped a little bit in your decision-making process, which one to get for your collection. And if not, I highly recommend <laughs> you get both. Thank you ever so much for watching. I really appreciate your time. Have yourselves a wonderful day. Please stay safe and take care. Bye.